Hi guys, welcome back to the uh, All Season Anglers YouTube channel. Um, today we're starting this video off a little bit different as the weather has been absolutely atrocious over the last few weeks, as we all know. Um, fishing's getting very tough. But I thought what I would do, just to change things up a bit, is do a bit of a challenge video. So what I've done, um, I've spent some time trawling through Amazon and I've ordered some of the cheapest lures I could find. Um, the sort of generic Chinese lures that you get from AliExpress and other places like that. Um, and tomorrow um, we will be going to my local stretch of the Kennet and we will be trying these lures out. Um, it'll, be very, it'll be quite interesting. Um, I've got the uh, packages that both have arrived, so I'm gonna unbox those with you now. So let's uh, start with this first one. Let's see what we've got. So, right, so to start with, I have got these 10.2 centimeter, uh, they're called HXE multi-jointed fishing hinge baits. Um, to be honest, they don't look too bad. They seem to have like a, um, a real skin sort of transfer on them. Um, let's just cut through here. So they look very realistic. I, I, I went for sort of natural patterns. Um, they had a selection of, of different colored ones but I thought I would stick to sort of um, sort of natural patterns. Um, wow, um, they feel quite good actually. Uh, a lot of movement in them. Um, and the hooks don't look too bad either. You know, it's they've got a 3D eyes as well. Um, and the movement looks okay let's just check you know obviously I, f I find with these jointed lures that you get um, on casting sometimes that the hooks catch each other in flight as the as the lure bends but that's uh, looks like a sort of roach pattern um, this one looks more like a sort of I don't know I suppose you'd call it a uh, a bit chub, a little bit chubby maybe, um, but you know they're all exactly the same. The lures, um, they've just got a different transfer printed on them. The nice thing as well is what I've noticed is, um, and this is the third one. This, this, I really like this. This is a very natural sort of roach style pattern with the orange. Uh, tail and that but also what I find is uh, it's quite extraordinary is that they come with spare if you can see that they come with spare hooks and um, split rings so these were I think I think these were about 7.99 I'm not 100% sure but what I'll do is in the description, I'll put the link to all of these lures um, and I'll double check them as well. Hold on a sec, I can actually, I can just, just double check here on my Amazon orders and I can tell you exactly. So they were, uh, oh no, these ones were 13 um, for the three. These are 10 and a half, 10.2 centimeters. Um, and they are 14 grams. So uh, look forward to trying them out in the morning. So, another box. Uh, again, so here we have five crankbaits. Look like fairly shallow diving ones, which is good because the stretch of Kennet that I fish is um, it's quite snaggy as well and also quite quite shallow in places um, and these look really nice actually um, I will see how they swim in the morning but um, 
I'll see how they swim in the morning. But you know, I may even just take one off, one hook off. Um, let's see if that affects it. Again, these have got the 3D eyes in. They're sort of real skin printed. Um, and, and again, I've got some natural patterns on this one. You know, I've got a perch there. I've got a trout there. And then got a blue, just sort of a generic blue one, and a, and a green one as well. You know, again, you know, the hooks look pretty good, pretty decent. Um, here you get five of these, and these ones are, uh, let's double check, these are on this one. These are the McGreal crank baits. These are the Mino crank baits. These are 8.4 centimeters and 10 and a half grams. And these were only 11.99 for five. You know, <clears throat> bearing in mind, if you go for a named brand like Salmo's and Savage Gears and that, just one of those will cost you 10 pound or more. Um, so to get five for that much, <laughs> you know, if they work is an absolute bargain. Also, I found um, I found this lure, and I've had to buy it because I thought it was it was very interesting. Actually, um, if you can see this, what this is, this is called the Fishing Addict Crazy Rusty Red Craw, and I don't know if you see my last video. I'll uh, link it up here um, where I caught my first pike of 2021. Um, I was also catching crays. Um, they would decimate in the baits, and the Kennet is very, very um, notorious for for crays at the moment. And this, I thought, just bumping along the bottom, it's got the articulated arms. Um, you know, who knows? You know, I think it's quite fun, and I think it'd be quite interesting to see how it works. Um, I will probably end up it'll end up snagging itself most of the time probably so i may have to take this back um back treble off and just fish with the one treble which i think is fine you know the less amount of trebles um the better but um it's a, a, a great little lure um this one here is The fishing addict crayfish crawdad swim bait, um, seven centimeters and it's uh, seven grams. So let's see how we get on with that one tomorrow as well. I'm looking forward to trying that one. And last of all, um, I've seen quite a few YouTubers using these style uh, lures, but I've never actually used one before, and that's the sort of um, buzz bait um, spinner baits. Um, yeah, let's get this out of the package. There we go. And check this out. Right, so what have we got here? Let's take this, wrap the band off. I'll leave that on there for now. But as you can see, um, I'm thinking, especially because the water at the moment is like tea, and really coloured. This all this extra movement and vibration, um, I feel is it's just going to just enhance the chances of a pike. Um, seeing or just feeling on the lateral lines this movement is going to push a lot of water um, this one is the let's just double check this one this is also by Fishing Addict this is the Spinner Bait Blood Knight it's 100 mils um, 20 gram so it's got a loaded as you can see there probably it's got a loaded head 
Um, and what I may do as well is I will attach a rubber tail to the hook itself um, just for a little bit of extra added attraction. Um, but yeah, looking forward to trying one of these. Never used one before, so uh, it'll be a first for me tomorrow. So um, yeah, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge. These are all lures um, I've ne that I've not used these brands before or tried. So um, next time we, uh, I'll be speaking to you. I'll be on the bank. Hopefully the rain holds off and the river doesn't bust its banks overnight um, and I will catch up with you um, tomorrow have a great day morning guys uh, you joined me today on the uh, same stretch that I fished uh, a couple of videos ago where I caught my first pike of the season of uh, 2021 um, it's very cold this morning the car was showing zero with a wind chill about minus three, so it's a bit nippy on the fingers. Just got down to the river now. Um, it's definitely up from when we fished it a couple of weeks ago, but still fishable. And if you could see, it's definitely bombing it through out in the middle. But the uh, plus side of that is that you'll tend to get some good slacks. Um, as you've seen in the intro today, I am uh, doing a bit of a lure challenge using the cheapest lures I could find on uh, Amazon that uh, looked good enough to catch plus safe for, the, safe for the fish. So today's going to be about just trying them, walking as much of the banks as possible and uh, hopefully trying to put a pike or two in the net um, I'm not gonna lie it's gonna be tough as a lot this winter has been but um, again you've got to be out here trying and the fish are gonna be eating albeit not as ferociously as they have been as you can probably see there's still quite a lot of uh, frost on the floor but um, it hasn't burst its banks here I live over by the Thames and that's completely burst its banks today. So the Thames is totally unfishable. But uh, we're going to try this stretch here. Um, a couple of hours. Um, and then if nothing's happening, we'll move on up to the canal. Where obviously it's going to be a lot less slow. Um, and see if we can tempt something there. I'll take you through my uh, gear that I'm using today um, later on in the video um, you've already seen the lures that I'll be using I'll just take you through my uh, rod and reel etc but so uh, we're just coming up now to the first swim so uh, wish me luck and hopefully I'll be speaking to you at some stage with a pike in my hands Uh, so to start with us, so I would just try one of these natural hinged baits. Um, let's try this. The roach pattern. I haven't got a clue how these things swim yet, so we'll see that shortly. Let's get this hooked up.
absolutely beautiful here. See where the fields are all flooded. So we're back where I caught the uh, small jack pike last week. So uh, let's see if we can continue. Yes. What's this? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's small. Is it a perch or a pike? Ah, oh, a little jack. Oh. Here we go. I'm going to hand this one in. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it is absolutely nailed it
Hi, so um, following on from the beginning of the video, um, I took the lures out for a day um, in very bad conditions. Um, as you would see, um, the water was extremely coloured, seen in a lot of flood. Um, I did find a few slacks and did manage to pull out a uh, very small pike. Um, so probably not a true test of how good these lures are or not but to be honest it was for me more about um, the quality of the lures how they held up to the casting how they swam etc etc so um, without further ado I will just sort of take you through my opinions on these lures and whether I think you should uh, maybe try them so to start with um, let's talk about the jointed Baits. These um, surprised me actually with with the quality. Um, they're very solidly built. Um, they've got a good action. Um, it takes a little while for you to sort of work out the best sort of retrieve. The only problem I find with these is they, um, even though they are sinking, a slow sinking, um, as soon as you start to retrieve them, um, they come straight back up to the top. Um, so as they are here out of the packet, um, I would say they'd be a very good uh, warm water summer sort of um, top water bait, uh, top level uh, when the pike are a lot more active, um, searching them out. Or what I may do on my next um, on my next trip to the bank is maybe put like a three gram cheb on the front cheb weight. Um, which will then bring it down in further in the water and hopefully ha allow me to retrieve them deeper because they are a great looking bait they look you know with the real skin transfers um, they're very good and for the price um, good value for money good value for money and I think as well that that sort of size where a decent perch would have a go as well uh, you know and even the chance of maybe a big chub um, so my opinion on these is for the money, um, I really like them. Um, just be prepared that they um, don't retrieve low down. So if you're after more of a, a lure in the top section of the water, I think these would be great. Secondly, is the box of five crankbaits, uh, which are these ones here. Um, now these I'm very impressed with, uh, they cast really well, um, they've got a good selection of, of um, different patterns, they've got double large bearings inside so they make a lot of noise um, and they dive to a, a, a nice depth and they're retrieved, they've got a very good retrieve on them and as you'd seen in that video um, I caught that small jack on the uh, on the trout pattern. You know, the Kennet has a lot of trouts in it and um, it obviously works. So for these, I think they're something like 13 99 or something like that for the five. You can't beat them. You know, a lure like that from Salmo or Fox and that's gonna cost you, in this size, it's gonna cost you eight to 10 pound. Uh, just for one and you get five here and they've got different boxes with different color combinations as well um, as I said at the beginning of the video I'll link in the description below the um, the links to these lures um, the other lure that took me a little while to work out was the, um, the spinner chatterbait style spinner um, I made the mistake of adding a, a rubber tail to it. I've seen that as, as I'd seen it um, online, lots of time people doing it. But what I found is this bait is obviously critically balanced um, for casting as it is. And what I found was when I had the, the rubber tail on it, as I cast, it was obviously causing um, some tangles and the leader would wrap around the top. But as soon as I took that off, um, 
it worked really well. Um, I'm looking forward to, to using this when the conditions are a bit better and um, and I can give it a proper go. But um, yeah, it's 20 grams and it's uh, it's a great medium weight lure for covering a lot of water um, and causing a lot of noise. So again, I recommend this. The only law that I didn't really get a chance to use, I tried it a couple of times, was the was the crawfish. Um, and purely for the fact that the water was in so much flood and was so fast that I couldn't present it right. Because this sort of bait, you just want to hop along the bottom um, like a crayfish. Um, and I just couldn't do it. So uh, look out for a future video uh, when the rivers are back to normal again. And I will... Um, uh, and I'll give this a proper review. So just to sum up then, um, I would recommend all of these, um, especially if you're uh, you know, new to lure fishing or a beginner, or even someone, a seasoned angler who's fishing some very snaggy venues and that, you know, and you don't want to be sacrificing 15 pound lures every cast. Um, these are a good compromise, you know, you know less than 15 pounds you get five lures that's a day's fishing there and if you lose them you know which is highly unlikely you're going to lose all of them um it it works out a lot cheaper um if you're new to the channel as well um please don't forget to uh subscribe and hit the like button um also hit the notification bell so that you're aware of when i release uh my new videos um, I hope you enjoy this style video. I'd appreciate any of your comments below. Um, let me know what you think and if you've used these lures or if I can fish them any better. Um, especially with regards to the spinner bait. I've never used these and probably not using it as efficiently as I should be. Um, but I appreciate it now. So uh, tight lines everyone. Um, stay safe and I'll see you on the bank soon.